What's up guys? So I'm bringing you a little trick to hopefully get you to remember those malignant thyroid gland tumors, starting with uh, papillary carcinomas. If I can get this to focus. Alright, so notice I've highlighted the P. This is because this is the most popular of all of them. It's going to present as a painless mass. You're going to have a palpable lymph node because of lymphatic spread, usually to the cervical lymph node. Um, you're going to have some oma bodies, very important and highly testable. And it's going to have a positive prognosis. Isn't that great? Um, now, there are a few things that you should know even though they don't, they're not able to fit this trick. And that is that there's a high association with radiation exposure. And you're going to see orphan anti-nuclei. Now, moving on to follicular carcinomas. Um, Notice I have highlighted the F, and this is because it's going to be more common in females with a 3 to 1 ratio. It's going to have faraway metastasis because it has vasculature spread um, to lungs and bones. It is not diagnosed by, <laughs> oops, not diagnosed by fine needle aspiration, um, and it's going to have a favorable, favorable prognosis. Now, know that it is common in iodine deficient areas. Unfortunately, that did not fit our little trick. Moving on to medullary carcinoma. Now, this is when our little trick starts to uh, not be as great, but it'll still help in some ways. Now, the familial type of medullary carcinoma will be um, due to a MEN 2A or MEN 2B ret proto onc gene mutation. Um, we're going to see amyloid depo deposits, which are going to show apple green biofringence. We're going to have calcitonin secretion, which is going to cause hypocalcemia due to inhibition of osteoclast. So we're not going to be breaking down those bones, and therefore we're not going to be increasing the calcium in our blood. Um, things that don't fit our little trick is that, but you should know, is that it has both vascular and lymphatic spread. It's going to have a poor prognosis, and very important, it arises from parafollicular cells or C cells. Those are the cells that will secrete our calcitonin. All right, and our last one is going to be anaplastic carcinoma. This is a very unfortunate one. It happens in elderly women. Um, they're going to present with dysphagia and respiratory compromise. It is the most aggressive and resistant of all, and it it's fatal. Um, I remember when I was taught this. Um, they made it sound like these patients will die from it. So um, that's about it. I hope this helps you guys. I'm just going to put it like this, get you a chance to take a screenshot, pause the video. All right, well, thank you guys, and uh, good luck.